Oh, you look amazing. You. Oh, thank you. So blooming. Isn't she? She is so good. Do you know what we love? I mean, it's not the real Stacey, though, honestly. Yeah. She oh, really? Oh, no. honestly. Has the, bra the baby brain yes. taken over? Something definitely happened. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find that? Did you change at all when you were pregnant? Do you know what? It all seems like a bit of a blur now, but um, I had the maddest thing where I, I just had... Like, I love the smell of sponges. Like, literally, damp smells. I was obsessed. It was so odd. So odd. Uh, are you over that now? I'm now over yeah. that. I, uh, yeah, my <laughs> obsession with sponges is, is it's, finished. It's done. OK. Yeah. And now your obsession's with beautiful little Sunday. She's <laughs> oh, such yeah. a gorgeous little she thing. Oh, thank you so much. I actually really miss her because she stayed with my mum last night. I went to... Um, a concert, so I just feel like, oh, I can't wait to get home seeing yeah. these pictures and seeing you pregnant as well. I, I actually miss being pregnant. Oh, do you? Yeah, I miss the bump. Oh, you can... I'll get, if I could take it off and give you a few days... <laughs> I would. Oh, no. Are you, not, are you it, yeah. not feeling exactly. it? Exactly. I'm really grateful. Really, really grateful. That's as far as I've yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you called yes. your daughter Sunday. Yes. Very unusual name. It is a very unusual name. And um, when I announced it, I thought I would do it on a Sunday. And I had every um, every Sunday joke, you know, you know the yeah. trolls come through on Twitter. Yeah. They was like, you should have given her her middle name ro uh, Roast. As in Sunday, Sunday Roast. Like, people were really, really it's going really in. funny, that's genius, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually funny. did laugh. I, I just... It was this brand of, of a face cleanser, and I thought that that was the name of the lady who owns the brand, and I Googled it, and it wasn't, but I still, I still loved it. And I know it's, like, really cringe when people go, oh, they really suit it, and I couldn't imagine, yeah. you know, her or him being called anything else, but I genuinely couldn't. She's got... Very, like, round, symmetrical face. That reminds me of the sun. Oh. So it's, like, Sunday, oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Best day of the so week. Oh. Yeah. Well, my mum named me after her mum. My middle name is Jean, and then we found out that's not actually her own mum's name. No. How can my mum not even have known her no. own <laughs> mum's name? <laughs> but there we are. Um, <laughs> now, obviously... We've, I've been a single mum, you've been mm. a single mum, you've been a single mum. This I is something that, that we can, we can yeah. all absolutely relate mm. to. And one of the hardest bits of it, Fern, that we can all completely empathise with is loneliness. And yes. This is something that you're... Not only are you experiencing yourself, but you're, you're working with a charity to help other people yes. through volunteering. Yes, so I have decided to get involved with the Royal Voluntary Service and they have launched this new campaign which is called The Step Forward. Mm -hmm. So basically we want to encourage younger people to volunteer their talents to help with... Um, they've got community centres. How many times a week do they have to go if they decide to sign up? Well, they can do it once a week and it depends what they're volunteering. So some people, if you've got a collection of puzzles, you could take it to, mm. you know, the local community centre. Whatever you think is your strength, that's what yeah. you could volunteer. And your granddad was kind of the inspiration for this, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, I, I feel so lucky. My granddad is going to be 89 in July. I ha actually had to check just before I come, uh, come on, because oh, I always get confused. Wow. Oh, There's my amazing. granddad, and he is so active. He goes badminton, bowls. He's so connected with me and my sister. He even helps us out with our children. So I feel very, very lucky that we have that relationship. But, of course, there are some elderly that, that don't, don't have that. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. they might... Be in hospital, um, happen to find themselves in hospital and, and haven't got family that live mm. nearby. So the trolley service, you can have a good yeah. chat. Um, it saves the nurses a job if, they, if the patient wants a, a drink or a magazine. So it was, it was a really, really lovely experience. And, and I, think, I think... I come away feeling, like, really, really, you know, positive and my mood was enhanced. It was very mm, fulfilling. Lovely thing to Rewarding, do, yeah. yeah. So it was a really, really good thing. It's something that I, I think not necessarily you would imagine people your age doing? Because a lot of re retired people do. My, yeah. my dad does a lot of volunteering and yeah. helping out for charity and that sort of thing. But you sort of think, well, you haven't got anything else to do. You're, yeah. you're, a, you're a, a young mum. You, you kind of think that young people might not necessarily have the time, but you're saying it can hugely benefit you, not just the people that Absolutely. you're going to, to volunteer for. That's it. It's a win-win situation because you're making this person feel great yeah. and... Um, and you also yeah. get something from it as well. I met some students at the hospital that were doing various degrees at Brighton University, and it fitted in perfectly yeah. with their schedules because yeah. um, 
one girl was studying medicine, so she was in the hospital right in the thick of it. And, <clears throat> yeah, they really enjoyed it. And they're all young and getting something from it. Do you, do you think as well, obviously, you know, life, life is very fast-paced at the mm. moment. It's all, you know, it's, it's Instagram, it's Snapchat, and it's very much posting about you're living the best life and this sort of thing. Do you think taking yourself out of, of that and being around other people is a way to help your mental health? Because, obviously, we, a lot of people don't necessarily want to talk to their closest group of friends but removing themselves yeah. slightly you obviously you were friends with with lovely mike from uh love island yeah. i don't know if there were volunteers who could who yeah. could put themselves in a slightly different situation might have helped someone like him definitely just so so sad about mike just such a such a tragedy but absolutely we're not saying that it's a solution, but mm. it's, a def it's definitely a step in the right direction. Um, and as I said, it, it enhanced my mood. It gave me a real buzz volunteering. Mm. So I think, as I said, it's not a solution, but it's definitely yeah. a step in the right direction. Mm. Yeah, and uh, like I say, it's something that we uh, we're all very busy. But actually, if it's only a couple of hours here or here or there, exactly. it's, a, it's, it's a sort of win-win. I feel like everyone is is living in the fast pa in the in the fast lane at the moment. No matter who you are, whether you're in the public eye, or you know you're a, a busy mum, or you're a school teacher, whatever you're up to. Life is constant because yeah. it's all on the phone, and it's you know I'm in so many WhatsApp groups. It just does. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. So you know when I when I went to Chesham House and did the the volunteering, mm. I didn't pick my phone up once, and it mm. was it was yeah, a real slow down. Yeah, just second. slow down and do something for someone else. It yeah. was a real feel good. Lovely. Well, we will let you go and get back to Little Sunday. Thank, Thank you, you for, for coming me. in.